Ever wonder what stars really are? Why they twinkle? And what a falling star actually is? Ella and Gaia are on the case and the planetarium is the perfect place to find out. Let's go on Ella and Gaia ask. What's really shining in the sky? Gaia, look up there. So many sparkly lights in the sky at night. Well, you think that they are all stars? That's a good question. Most of those tiny lights you see in the sky are stars, huge balls of hot glowing gas burning far, far away. They shine because they're super hot and they give off their own light, just like our sun. And yes, the sun is also a star and it's the closest one to Earth. Is the moon just a big shiny star? The moon is the biggest. Is the moon a star too? Maybe. It looks like one, but it doesn't twinkle like the other stars do. Great observation. I love the way you think. The moon is not a star. It's called a natural satellite. It orbits the Earth and doesn't make its own light. The moon shines because it reflects light from the sun. So even though it's bright, it's not glowing on its own. It's just bouncing sunlight back to us. That's why the moon doesn't twinkle like the stars do. Ever wonder why stars twinkle? The stars look like they're twinkling. Like they're wiggling. They do a twinkle dance. You're right, it does look like a dance. But stars don't actually move like that. It's Earth's atmosphere that makes them appear to twinkle. As their light travels through all the layers of air, it bends and jiggles. That makes the stars seem like they're twinkling, even though they're really shining steadily. Do stars still twinkle in space? So, if there is no air in space, do stars still twinkle? No air. I didn't know that, so this is why astronauts wear special suits. Exactly. In space, there's no air to bend the light, so stars look like steady, unmoving lights. Astronauts see stars shining clearly, without a single twinkle. Is a falling star really a star? Look, a falling star, quick. Make a wish. A falling star? Can stars actually fall out of the sky? We just call it a falling star. But actually, it's not really a star at all. It's a tiny rock from space called a meteoroid. When it enters Earth's sky, it burns up, and that bright flash is called a meteor, or shooting star. But you can still make a wish when you see one. What can we learn from the stars? I'm getting tired. Do stars ever get tired or stop shining? Stars are not people. They are awake when we are sleeping. I think they shine forever. What a beautiful question, Gaia. Stars don't shine forever, but they do shine for a very long time. Some live for billions of years, glowing with incredible energy. Eventually, they change, fade, or even explode, and that's part of the story of how our universe grows and evolves. By studying stars, scientists learn about time, space, and where we come from. Wow, stars are amazing. Will we ever get to touch one? Can we fly close to one? Like astronauts in space? Can an astronaut touch a star? Not yet. Stars are so far away and so hot, we can't visit them up close, at least not for now. But through science, telescopes, and questions like yours, we can learn about them, study their light, and understand how they work. And that's the magic of curiosity. This universe we live in is full of wonders, and your questions are exactly where discovery begins. So keep asking, keep wondering, and come back soon for more adventures and learning. Good night, stars. And thank you for coming to study with us. We will see you again in our next adventure.